This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Cam Power and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the charging speed of the Fisker Ocean Extreme. So let's just roll the tape. You see that I tried to include cars with similar battery size, and they are also SUVs, all the other cars here. Uh, well, except for EV9, it has a slightly smaller battery. Uh, I considered considering, uh, including EQS, but it was like, uh, okay, whatever. Okay, but you see that right off the line, it hits 170 kilowatt, and then it goes a little bit up and down, 260, 170. Uh, it seems like this session is slight cold gating, but maybe that's no big deal because it seems to have a flatter curve uh, further out at least. So when I had, I tried another session later where I got 175 kilowatt flat until around 30 percent, but then it throttled. I mean, then it went slower at the higher state of charge. So maybe that could indicate that um, the car can cold gate and rapid gate on the same session. I don't know. There, there's active cooling here and it was running, but yeah. Okay, but um, let me see now. Let's look at the competition and how do, what do we got here. Compared to e-tron, actually, you see that the ocean charges faster than e-tron. They have almost the same battery size. Uh, very, very impressive, but that's because the e-tron is initially slow in the beginning, but it slowly picks up speed. And then which car is leading? Right? Oh, EV9, of course, EV9, the boss, man, the 800 volt hype, yeah, the seven, well, actually the 600 volt architecture, in this case, takes the lead so far with almost 50%, uh, yeah, ahead of iX1, no, sorry, iX, my bad. Uh, so IX uh, starts throttling a little bit. It had a higher speed in the beginning. So you saw initially that they, both EV9 and IX, they had uh, almost 200 kilowatt, whereas the Ocean and e-tron, they go at around 170-ish max. But you see now that uh, close to 50%, then the Ocean goes slower. And then the e-tron starts picking up speed more and more right now. So uh, right now, wait, wait, which car is it? Uh, huh? The Ocean is the slowest. What the heck, man? Okay, that is a bit disappointing. Right now, the e-tron e is about to hit maximum speed and it just goes faster and faster and faster. This is the way the Audi does it. The other cars start slowing down a little bit more now, but EV9 can still maintain some real, pretty impressive speed. It's already at 10% ahead of number two, which is the IX. And then the Ocean is the slowest with only 55% and e-tron is already at 61%. Oh no, seems like the, the initial lead that the Ocean had over the e-tron has been eaten up now because it goes slower at higher stellar charge. All right, and then back to the EV9. Wow, the EV9 is about to hit 80%. I don't remember if the EV9 has that um, Korean Siesta or not. Uh, maybe not today. Yeah, not today, so not today. Seems like uh, right now uh, nothing's gonna beat EV9 in the race to 90% at least, but let's see what's happening with the other cars. <laughs> what the heck, man? Front facing camera fault. Uh, some features not available. Huh? Yeah. Uh, stop bugging me about the falls, man. I'm sitting in the, <laughs> the ocean right now. Holy macaroni. This is embarrassing. Mm -hmm. No, stop bugging me about that shit, man. Front-facing camera. I don't give a shit. I'm shooting a video about uh, your uh, charging session. Okay, uh, back to the charging session. Ocean mm -hmm. now. It... Holy macaroni. Stop bugging me about that shit. Okay, anyway, sorry for the background noise here. 79% um, on e-tron. Wow. That, uh, 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 how did I turn off that shit? Huh? Okay, anyway, back to the session. Um, well, actually, right now, you see that the ocean, uh, okay, it is behind all the other cars, but um, the I IX is starting to fall a bit behind because the ocean can maintain some okay speed, uh, even at this point. Oh, okay, okay, maybe the ocean still has a chance, but the EV9 is supposed to hit 90% soon, and there's nothing that can beat EV9 at this point, but uh, EV9 goes kind of slow. <sighs> Okay, all right, sorry. Uh, e-tron, um, uh, as actually, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Is the e-tron gonna gain on EV9 right now? Because e-tron charges way faster than EV9, but they are both at around 80 something, very high up there. But Ocean now dropped to only 39 kilowatt. Oh no, it goes dog slow at 80%, actually a little bit before 80%. But we'll get back to the bottom, bottom. Which car is gonna hit 90% when EV9? Oh, oh, oh EV9 hit first, and then, oh, e-tron, wow. What a comeback on e-tron. <laughs> Uh, E-tron, Audi still shows them who's the fattest around there. Okay, the two bottom cars, they're gonna go for 100%. Also, the Ajax gonna go for 100%. Our Ocean, on the other hand, I didn't bother going to 100% because that would take way too long. But now, let's see at least if the other cars can hit 100% by the time the Ocean hits 90% because right now the Ocean is charging way slower. But also, you can see that the two bottom cars at past 90%, they also go kind of slow. But Ajax, man, BMW, they, it, BMW starts flexing now. It charges way faster than the two bottom. Uh-oh, is it gonna be a comeback for the Ajax at least to 100% where we will see but then the ocean there's nothing much going on there 
39 kilowatt only all the way i guess yeah they had just pre-programmed it okay past 80 uh, percent nobody gonna charge that much anyway even though we have big fat battery so we just go dog slow yeah we don't give a shit wait wait a minute i uh, is in the head of fat e-tron <laughs> fat e-tron charges at only 30 kilowatt and i is charging twice as fast and can it even beat the ev9 this is really impressive look at that suddenly i is that in the lead right now 99 percent wow holy macaroni is the ix gonna take that massive um comeback well actually wait 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 is this the point where it just dicks around at 99 percent for the longest time yeah okay yeah i've seen this charging session before i just don't remember which car won but uh, now the bottom cars they have a chance to beat ix after all yeah, I don't know what's up with this. 99% for some reason is really long <laughs> in the IX. This is the two bottom cars. They are coming in schnell right now. There, the ocean hit 90%. Wow. After one hour, holy mackerel. Actually, no, the timer is a bit off. I started at 2% because I wanted to measure the kilowatt hour. Yeah, I also, by looking at the kilowatt hour versus how much we charge, I also confirmed that we should have around 106 kilowatt hour net capacity on the ocean. There, the EV9 hit 100% first. Wow. Double win for Kia. Oh yeah, double win for the Koreans, the Germans. Oh, we are still at 99%. They're going to hit 99% and they're going to hit 100% soon. Both of them. Which, which car is going to hit 100% first now? Is it going to be e-tron or IX? Well, let's see. Uh, oh, that, that e-tron. Oh, okay. So BMW lost this battle. Well, actually, uh, second place. Uh, Ocean lost this battle. And now we look at the Johnny curve. So the red line here is the Ocean. And you see that it doesn't go that fast. It has a little bit up and down here. So that was probably the cold gap, but at least it managed to maintain a fairly flat curve. When I tried earlier with hot the battery, it would have nice and flat curve until around 30%, but then it would have a lower curve and a higher state of charge. So that's why I just kept this. It seems like you have somewhat inconsistent charging curves in the, in the Fisker. And then here, what is this? You see, Etron here started slower initially, and then it started gaining some momentum here at the higher state of charge. So actually, during 1,000 kilometer challenge, I managed to ride on that high curve, and that's why the Etron and um, and the Fisker was actually quite neck on neck when it comes to 1,000 kilometer challenge, at least. But uh, both the EV9 and the IX, for what I remember, they should be faster also in the 1,000 kilometer challenge. They're also more efficient than the two bottom cars. Yeah, the two bottom cars just also, also happen to be the thirstiest cars in this comparison. And very impressive with the EV9, how fast it goes, also the IX50. So you see, I con uh, compare these cars because they have similar battery sizes, and this is what you can expect from roughly 100 110 kilowatt hour battery actually some cars like tesla goes even at 250 i could have included some uh, yeah maybe like um lotus electra or uh, uh, i haven't even included uh, uh, xpeng g9 xpeng g9 would just humiliate all of these cars and they it also has around 100 kilowatt hour battery only so actually these cars are charging kind of slow for how big battery they are but maybe there's a reason for it maybe these chemistries they have high energy density but there's a trade-off that they cannot take too high discharge or charging rate that could be it just like classic ionic you know the the 28 kilowatt hour Ionic had just amazing charging, discharging rate for the size battery. But then I suspect that when they went for the new version, the 38 kilowatt hour, it had higher energy density, but then they couldn't go that high on C rating. But okay, so anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.